at this program reign of our i'm inviting as many that are trusting god for open heavens in any areas of their life for healing for deliverance no matter the duration of that problem that you are believing reign of power through the power of the holy ghost will provide solution i'm challenging you to come with every dead situation you are in bringing any healing case bringing any problem bring them to god at these seven days divine experience you will experience the raw magnificent power of the most high god he has done it before he's doing it and he will never stop doing it i am challenging you no matter that situation you are in this is the last bus stop come and experience the reign of god's power as you come your life will become a testimony that will attract people to the kingdom of god please don't just come alone i'm challenging you to come with somebody so that it will be on record that i invited somebody to a program and that program marks the beginning of the unending joy of that person the program is kicking off on monday 15th of this month all through till 21st day of may monday to saturday is going to be 6 p.m prompt and on sunday the grand finale we are going to be wrapping it up at 8 25 a.m come and be blessed When you find yourself in a situation that you don't understand, you begin to switch into the language that you don't understand that you cannot control. Why don't you rise up on your feet? The word of the Lord said in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4, that he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edified himself. Why not open your mouth and begin to bless God in other tongues? Begin to speak in other tongues. I want you to speak and let the atmosphere catch fire. I want you to speak and let everywhere be set on fire. Mande le krundo sakabro sataya sakaba elege dege de gromono shike madoso shale braha rama kundo arege de brogo de brege de gromono shale braha ayala bada bade brando brogo de brege ayala brogo de brogo de brogo de brogo de ayala bade bade de brogo 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 de Amen. Once again, I want to bless God for your life. This is divine experience. Minding edition of divine experience. I was having a koinonia with the Holy Ghost. And all of a sudden I was watching my elder brother, Pastor Christopher Yakilo. And it was it was corrosive. It was very, very intense. And he said, son, why don't you go on divine experience? And it's 
This one shall be the reign of power. And I want to bless God for as many that started the program with me yesterday. We are in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. And the word is earnestly expecting those that will manifest the raw power of God. Yesterday we looked at God hears us. God hears our prayer. And I was so glad when I left that of a truth God hears us. This evening we want to go into a higher dimension. For as many that started with us yesterday that God hears us want to go higher now. If you have that understanding that of a truth God hears us, we want to go into a higher dimension. But first, I want to bless my master, my helper, my comforter, my counselor, my advocate, my intercessor, my only to row, my stand back, my strengthener, my leader, my controller, my supervisor, my manager, my director. Please lift up your hands and clap for the Holy Spirit. He is the controller general and the representative of the host of heaven. Father, we bless you. We adore you. I want to bless God for your life, for the life of our mother in Christ. I want to salute Pastor Peter Igbe. He is one of the executive of the PFM Egbeda chapter. I told you this is the elder brother, direct elder brother of the second in command of Omega Fire Ministry. This is a direct brother. I told you the story. How Pastor Suleiman used to come to him and he was a footballer. He said, I prefer football. But today, God has arrested him. And I know that he's going to go further in the name of Jesus. Please celebrate God in your life. Today is a demonstration of the reign of power. Are you ready? If you are ready, please be seated. Hallelujah. Yesterday was God hears our prayer. And I told us that the blessed thing a man can ever be and the most treasure a man can ever have is to be a man that God answers his prayers. And Psalm 65 verse 2 tells us that our God the prayer answering specialist. By the grace of God, I'm going to be ministering on the saint word. The saint word. And my test is coming from Psalm 107 verse 20. Psalm 107 verse 20. On your own, you can read from verse 18 all through to 20. They sent what? Well. And the scripture says, please open your Bible to Psalm chapter number 120, 107, verse 20. Are you there? And the Bible said, the saint is what? healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Most times we are expecting somebody that will just come like a breeze and say I'm the Holy Spirit and I come upon you, you are healed. If you do that, you wait in vain. God has embedded himself in his word. You know what that's Psalm 138 verse 2 Tells us that God honors his word more than his name. And the Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 that wherever the word of a king is there, there is power. Tonight is a demonstration of his power. Yano Hashere. I don't know about you. Yano Hashere. Why? Because the word of God 
is coming forth unto you tonight. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. God speaking through his wonderful prophet. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. He said, For I will restore it unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. No one, a young slave girl in the land of Babylon, had a master whose name was called Neymar. And one day he said to Neymar, I said, Neymar, I have been hearing you discussing about several visits to several places, all to no avail. I wish you would try, my prophet. My prophet, try. I know that your sickness will be and the Bible said of a true that Neymar heeded unto the counsel of the young girl and said all true to the compound of Elisha. Elisha demonstrated to us that I didn't know to show myself, you don't need me, Neymar. You don't need me to come out with a prophetic robe. All you need is a word. It is a saint word. And what was the saint word unto Nema? Dip yourself seven times in the river called Jordan. And Nema got hungry. I came all the way from Syria, a mighty world nation. And I'm the general that has been winning that war for Syria. And all you do, you didn't even bother to come out with all the entourage that came with me. You are in door, your prayer chamber and you are sending me a word. Stop running after prophet on social media. Stop running after prophet. Start running after the word of God. The greatest prophet word of God. The word of God is embedded with the spirit of Jesus. In case you don't know, the man that came, the Bible said in John chapter 1 verse 14 that the word became flesh and dwelt amongst men. That word that came was Jesus Christ. So each time you hear about the set forth word, about Jesus. When this program was to commence, even when the advert that we did, I said, bring the lame, bring the dead, bring the blind, bring the deaf, bring them. I can't see none here. And I know that some miracles happened yesterday. The ones that will happen today will be mighty. Yeah. You hear me, child of the living God, some of you came in like a normal David, you are living here like a stronger David. Yeah. David didn't kill Goliath by sling of his, of his stone. David killed Goliath by the word that was sent. Even when Goliath was speaking against David, David prophesied the word of God. He said, you come against me with the, the, the hierarchies of your powers, of your gods. But I come against you today in the name of that same God that you have disdained. You have disdained that God. And he began to speak the word. He said, number one, I will kill you. I prophesy upon the life of seven people here this evening that your enemies shall die tonight in Jesus' name. You are not hearing what I'm saying. I have been in that position where people called me and said, Danny, I offended you. My head is aching. I don't know what is about to me. One told me, he said, something said to me, I should go and kill myself. These are people that rose up against me. 
He says, as I'm talking, as somebody says, I should drink piper, sniper, and die. God does not want you to die. Why will you die? You are my enemy. Good. But you won't die until God celebrates me and we are together in the same table. The Bible says, and God shall prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Why will you die? You won't die. You must be on that table to testify that evil is evil. Good is good. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm telling as many that are sick that tonight you will live here here in the name of Jesus. What is a saint word? Please be seated. What is a saint word? It is God's response to the cry or prayers of his people. When you call on God according to his word and he answers you with a word that suits the occasion, a word that is custom made for you and for the situation for which you require his intervention, that is the saint word. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7 says, if the way of a man pleases God, he makes all his enemies to be at peace with him. Most times, when your enemies are arranging, they are arranging terribly, just adjust your ways and please God. Proverbs 14 verse 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach unto the people. Hear me, child of God. I said I'm going to be, not me, my father, the Holy Ghost, will be doing some demonstrations of power. You know, the theme of this program is reign of power. The word of God is God himself going forth to accomplish what he wants to do. God cannot operate outside of his word. Are you hearing me? In number 14 and verse 38, he said, whatever you test me to do, that will I do. Is that not a word? We are talking about the word you read is called logos. Mando siatanaha. The word that you read is called logos. But the interpretation, the interpretation of logos, as you are meditating upon it by the Holy Ghost, is called rema. Rema is the Holy Ghost embedded in logos. Did you get what I'm saying? And God is saying, whatever you say to me, that will I do. Come. You that is saying amen. Yesterday you packed a whole load of power. Come. I want to, we are going to demonstrate power. It is called reign of power. Let me tell you. If the devil is still making caricature of your time, you are not a child of God. If the devil is still delaying your marriage, forget it or you are far. Mando siatash. Ingrundos kapash. Hear me, child of God. Can I have that, sir? Lord, I thank you. I speak to this tambourine. Tambourine, God has privileged you to travel with me abroad. I remember one day, the wife of one senior pastor, I said, Mommy, please, can you hold this tambourine for me? She heard it and she started in the choir department. The wind just died. I speak to this tambourine now. Become a carrier of the presence of God. Come and hold this tambourine. <laughs> Manda Kosa. Hold it, man. 
Hold it. You are already carrying power. You are going to carry so much power. <laughs> I have told God, I said, Taborin, turn it to power. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You must go to the level that I told us about Koinonia, and I told us I go answer prayer. Ma, begin to shake it. Some things will be shaken out of your life now. Begin to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it! Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you come, Patricia. Some of you, your one leg is here, your one leg is there. And God begins to wonder who is your prophet, who will now speak into your life. That's one error in the ministry. Everything here we speak. I speak this bear, Mandoa, Rikotosua, as I begin to hit the bear, Indosua, let this bear stand in your spirit, man. <laughs> let it stand in your spirit, man. In the spirit, man of Patricia. Holy Ghost, I sent forth your word. Let your word stand through this manda quarter manda manda quarter larry sun is seven dimension of power mandi kurunda kata motoli katalia reggae de broko toza ingrata kotalia E mono kundu kata Oligo santa Sadika Rikotonia The word of God is real Zodo modia 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 Ikrosata Can you rise up on your foot? is good. He has done me well. On my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. On my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. On my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Lord. God is good. He has done me well. Rise up and praise the Lord. Elele, Murun, no koto, mayale, kalabu. Melege, elekendele, Murun. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Heal and deliver. He sent his word. 
Psalm 107 verse 20. Text us. And God sent his word to deliver and heal those who had gone and suffering agony from their sins. In Mark chapter 11, verses 12 to 14, and from verses 20 to 24, Mark, are you there? Chapter 11, from verse 12 to 14, and from verse 20 to 24, Please look up, children of God. We are not here to play. Whatever I'm teaching you, preaching to you, not of me, but of the Holy Ghost, are things I have experienced. The Bible says one day, God, in the person of Jesus, was coming from Bethany. And he became hungry. The human part of him was hungry. And in there to satisfy that hunger. So from afar off, he saw a fig tree. Can I have that, sir? So the expectation was that if I get to where the fig tree was, I will eat and be satisfied. He made that attempt. He got there only to see that the fig tree was fruitless, unproductive, manipulative, and deceptive because they were greenish. It was the parable of not all that glitters and gold. And he looked at himself if you can deceive me, Jesus. You can deceive any other man. And the Bible said in verse 14, and he said, No man eat of thee from today. He said his word. Am I right? Can we go to the scripture? Because tonight is a night of, you will leave this place. I told you yesterday, control your mouth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Control your mouth. If you are able to control your mouth, you wait power. God does not God does not want another episode of Elisha and the 40 children. God allowed it because at the first time in the old testament, Christ has not gone to the cross. Mercy was not speaking. If God wants to kill, he kills. So when Elisha said, Beer. But now, God does not desire the death of any sinner. That's why I get in long rope. So I'm begging you, you will carry so much power. But control your tongue. Some people have been offending me, even some of my ministers. I look at them and say, I jump you back. I can't jump you back. Can't bring me back. I will even beg you. I will repeat myself again. Because God does not need another Elisha in this dispensation of the Holy Spirit. That's why some of you say, why is it that the, the wicked are prospering? They are not prospering. God is just giving. The day God will touch them. I told us on Sunday that there are two news that will happen this week that will show the table. One has happened yesterday. Another one will happen. It will shake the nation. Hear me, child of God. You will leave this program. What you think was not working before begin to work. Yeah. What you thought was a full stop will suddenly become a pass. By reason of this program, they begin to move in the name of Jesus. Jesus sent the world. 
He said, because of this, no man eat from thee again. <laughs> God hears prayers. Mando si adoshia. He said, and on the morrow, Mark 11, 12, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar of having leaves, he came, if aptly he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs has not yet. And Jesus answered and said, No man, eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. For what? Ever. And his disciples heard it. One day we had some testimonies. We were at a Bible college and the rain was misbehaving. So much it was posterous to the extent that it was dark all over. Oga, Satan is your boy. When last did you send and go to my village and destroy them because you are a destroyer, you are a killer, you are a thief. When last did you send him? When last? I looked at the rain. I said, You are too small. So I sent one of my maid servants that I've just put in the pastoral line. I said, Go and speak to the rain. Why? The Bible said in Psalm 8, verse 6. That God has given me dominion over everything he has created. I am a God to the creation of God. Say, I am a God to the creation of God. If you understand this rhema, if witches want to operate, they must turn to animal. Animals are creation. Each time before, if I hear birds around my window, I begin to speak in tongues. God said, have you forgotten? I've given you. The... So the more I hear them within my window, oh my God, I move my sleeping gear from one to five. I sleep. Because the Bible says, he that watches over me, neither sleep nor slumber. Why will I be bothered about the things going around me? I don't understand you. Why are you troubling yourself? If you understand who you are in Christ, if you understand the potency of the same, just send the word. One of my children in the Lord from UK, he said, I read your book. And that book is a terrible book. And he said, that night, I couldn't sleep. They attacked me. And I'm discouraged. And I sent him these three scriptures. Since that day, they went away. When the devil know that you are not just a word act, you are not just possessed by the word of God, that you are a practitioner, just like a witchcraft practitioner, just like a satanist, run away from you. Chapter 11, verse 32 b He said, that they that know God, they shall be strong and they shall do as Remember, in Mark chapter 11, verse 14, the disciples, they heard him. They took notice of it. Sent forth a word. No man eat of thee. Travel with me to verse 20. And the Bible said, 20. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, I love Peter. He must talk. <laughs> you know why he will talk? As I when this was happening, Jesus was about 30. Three years, and Peter was about 66. So he was using the body of an elder. Just like this Joshua here. Very stubborn. But I'm subduing him. 
cannot be two Jew in the church. So Peter was stubborn. <laughs> I love his Agbari stubbornness. He's helping us. And the Bible said, Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold, victory which thou causest is withered away. Hear me, child of God. One of the instruments of a child of God is cause. You can look yourself at the window and the mirror and say, this is me. Papa, I curse you today. Can I ask you, are you talking to me? Say, you, you are. I ask you, what is your basis? Say, poverty, hear me. It is written by the reason of the sent word in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, that Jesus was rich for my sake. Osaro Henry Gubo, he became poor. He left the realm of riches that I may occupy it. Read poverty, I curse you. Look yourself, get a mirror. And say, begin to cause poverty. Disappointment, I cause you. Delay, I cause you. Look at some of you, look at your chest. Your chest, your Manchester. Everything is so heavy. But nobody is coming. Look yourself in the window. Delay, you are cursed today. Because am I speaking to somebody? Look at that sickness. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 3 to 5. Jesus, because of sickness, took 36 stripes. Said by reason of this 36 stripe, you are healed. Sickness. I released the blood that came out of this stripe against you. I curse you. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, the Bible said, Christ is cursed, cursed is he that hanged on the tree. Why did he go and hang on the tree? That every curse upon your life might perish. As I am, anybody that dare, whether you go to the mountain, cause me, you die. Just try it, you die. Yes, sir. My own parents said, if you try it, you die. You try by error. Mm -hmm. You speak a little cause, you die. Hmm. We kill you for correction. Yes, sir. Peter, remember. Calling Jesus, say, Master, behold, the fig tree which you covet. Hear me? If you began to examine what happened, because Jesus said, Come and eat it from thee, the cause didn't look the branch because it will grow again. Deceive somebody again. Cause people to wander, walk without anything to write off. He didn't locate the stem. He went straight to the root. That is why whenever you are praying, pray to the root. Am I coming? 22. Jesus looked at them. Said. Jesus answered, said unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. There is one faith I have, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone that have left me and say, who am I? Mm. God drew them away. So that at the point of my announcement, mm -hmm. they will drive from nations and come and celebrate with me. Very Some correct. people are not supposed to be there when God is making you. That's true. You're right, sir. 
He brought them, but they didn't want to stay. He said, I will bring them when I'm canning you. Mm. Are you aware? That the day Jesse was visited by a prophet from God, that in this house, I place a king. David was sent very early in the morning and said, go to the bush, you are a bush ball. That's right. And all the soldiers, you know, the first, first, second, third, fourth, the soldiers. And they came out, probably with their uniform. Yes, sir. The Buratai. And they came out with all their pariah, all the decorations. God said, I have not chosen these ones. The seventh one came out, I have not chosen. Sir, where am I going? Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. God has spoken and Bible said once has he spoken Psalm 62 verse 11 twice have I heard that power belongs to me oh God there is still one useless boy the bush boy he's not qualified to be a king mm -hmm. but he can take yes. who is more better it's not the one that is a shepherd. King sheep is all about shepherding. If you don't have the heart of a slave, mm. you cannot be a king. What were the qualifications of David? Number one, he was there. All of a sudden, a bear came wanting to take one of the flocks. He ran. I'd rather die for any of my men to die. God was washing him. Mm. Number two. A lion came. I want to take one of the flocks. God was washing him. <laughs> he knew that all these military people, they will siphon the wealth of the He said, I have not chosen any of these poor ties. I have not chosen them. They are elements. They are agents of criminality. These are the people that are parading the, par the corridor of our fruitful land called Nigeria. I told us yes. I said, in my time, we will lay curses on evil government. Yes, sir. I reminded you, I said, at the time of Archbishop Percy Downs, who is that government? Fuders! So this evil government living, they are still borrowing to do what? I repeat again today. Please put it on that camera. Any man or woman, boy or girl, under the garment of being a politician, that has taken what belongs to me, that has taken what belongs to politicians, that is sending soldiers, innocent soldiers, to some bits of forest or places, in order for them to die, I decree and I declare, let them be cursed. Amen. After the order of the cause of Jesus. Amen. Unto their 14th generation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire. I keep telling us, I can never send my conscience for money. It's not possible. I might talk it to somebody. Because I am teaching you some dangerous things that you need to be doing. And we saw when David became Hello. Grace is bigger than money. Money cannot buy grace. Grace can rubbish and disgrace money. The same people that were rubbishing David. Have you come? You want to come and show yourself? When the young man went to the cave of Adelam, it was a cave. The Bible said his parents, his brothers, all their wife, everybody they ran with him and went to stay there. He had to go and talk to a king and keep them in a safe place because he carried the grace of war. If you must be victorious in this life, you must carry the grace of war. 
there's a war going on for the rescue of the soul of Nigeria. I decree and I declare. Father, you said eradicate evil in the land. Yes, sir. You said break satanic frontiers. I stand as your, as your oracle. Mm. Any judge, any justice that has collected money from anywhere in order to cause more tears in the eyes of Nigeria. Mm. Within the next 24 days, the next 24 hours, not 24 days, just 24 hours. Yes, sir. Father, let them fall and die. Amen. Let them fall and die. Amen. I told us what will happen for this to but God will pick a man that will be at the middle and his name shall be called Mikai. 300 men met Mikai. He said, what is trending now is lie. When you get there, speak as we are speaking. I profess her. God will raise a Mikai. Amen. I declare and I declare after the order of Bala. Mm. The Bible said, Bala gave Balaam so much money to curse the people of Israel. Why he prepared his mouth to curse? Blessing came. I decree and I declare no matter the amount of money that I passed a sage hand at the day of judgment let God speak to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of the living God I round up my message. Jesus said the word. Hear me, sir. I speak to this pole. We have seen a go-go I command this pole now. God said, whenever you hear me speak, he will do. This angogo turn to fire. Anyone that touch you. Because it is called reign of power. Let them experience your power. Who is here? Come, sir. Camera, uh, Edda, in charge of media. Hold this book. Inda Namuksha. Masi. Imbroso. Cabra Tosia. Cabadosha. Masi. He's no more a poor. Masi. Ingroso Kora. Imara. Calabosia. Alala. Alala. El Copato. Electrify this man now. Electrify him. Electrify him. Electrify him. Electrify him. Maria. Electrify him. Mandosa. Electrify him. Electrify him. Electrify him. By reason of the power of the sent word, I sent forth a word in the name of Jesus. Paul, become power. Amen. Become power. Amen. Become power. Amen. Sickness in his body. Oh yeah, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap. Alia, Santa Alia. I speak to this poor. I want you to leave this place. <laughs> A man of God look at me and say, 24 hours you had that said, me. Se eight, 10 years now. I've not heard of him. I don't want to say he's dead. I speak to this poor. Oh yeah. Turn to fire. In the name of Jesus. Who is there? <laughs> oh, Kaba, you come. Share your testimony. And that I saw your shekel, very big shek. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let the fire speak now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let the fire speak, 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 speak. Over our life. The fire is speaking. There's nothing anybody can do about it. The fire is speaking. Let the fire speak in your life. Let it locate, locate every pain. You look at the fire speaking. It is speaking. It is speaking. Doors are opening. Amanaha, ikata libraha. You will be among those that will win very good next time. Ali, oh yeah. Now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire the Holy Ghost. Amen. Take her. To the next level, to the next level, to the next level, to the next level, 
don't leave this program. It is called reign of power. Reign of power. Me, I am one of those <laughs> that does that believe only in God. Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? You want to touch? I am telling you now that you can speak to a situation, it changes in your favor. Amen. One day there was no food to eat in my house. I went to the kitchen. I began to position rice everywhere. <laughs> Nyam. I was calling them forth. Jesus said, Romans 4 17. He called those things that were not. Within two months, I was not dashing rice. <laughs> Pardon my English. My daughter and their beautiful daughter of mine. He said, Daddy, are you at home? He brought me rice. On the packs. Uh, I don't want to, <laughs> to have to dash them up. Every come. Poverty is not your portion. That situation you are condoning so much. Some of you are celebrating what God is killing, what God is hating in your life. I told some of you, let us agree on a date of marriage. <laughs> Those that agree, they got married. Let us agree. Let us agree. I want to round up so we pray. Hear me, child of God. In John chapter 4, verse 4, 1 John 4, verse 4, the word of God said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. In summary, the sent forth word has God in the inside and God in the outside. The sent word of God is Jesus in action. Via the Holy Spirit. Hear me. All that I've been teaching you, it takes the ginosko of the Holy Spirit to know God deeply. When we talk about ginosko, we are talking about the revelation and knowledge of the word of God. Oh, Kapanoa. I can never be poor. Rise up on your feet. I can never fail. I can never be disadvantaged. I can never fail. In Brussels, the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light of the power of the sent word. Jesus said, Jesus said it. I believe it. And that settles it. Hear me, child of God. Hey! He get the nelu. He get the. He get the nebenile. Wabara Jesus come He get the ne. He get the na na. He get the nebenile. Abara Jesus Kariria. Let me tell you one truth. The date. Every man of God that has openly challenged me, their ministry closes. I'm telling you the truth. God said, Son, you are a mysterious wonder. And before that, my wife was praying, we're praying. And he said, Thus hear the Lord, you are Aramanda. We said, What is Aramanda? He said, Wonder of the world. He got in a luo. He got in a He got in a bed. Jesus. Maria. He got in a. He got in I want to hear the drum. Bye.
there's victory in the name. My name Jesus. There is power in the name. My name Jesus. In conclusion, without your faith in God, His word will not work for you. People of God, Meditate on the word of God. I want you to say after me. Declare this. And say the word is in me. Say the word is in me. The word is in me. I am in the world. I am in the world. I am sent out into the world. I am sent out into the world. With the word implanted in my spirit. With the word implanted in to my say, spirit. To save, heal, heal, and deliver those, and deliver who, those are around me. who are around me. People of God, please apply the word. Do you see God's purpose for your life? Yes, His ultimate aim is not to make you a theology. He wants to make you become one with his word. Let the word take over your life. Let it dwell richly in you and surrender to be a doer of his world. Lift up your hands. Tonight we are not praying, I'm only declaring to your life. Stretch out your hands to us. Halimana siyana Malina no manaso Malima malaso Maye galo Halina malaso I am a man, so I am a man, so my you go with that song. The most simple, and I see Please release yourself. And I see Hallelujah. 
Father is here. Look up if you can see. Moses said, If you can see the blessing, Sabbath. Motsu Tia Kapoa. Libra, 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 Libraka, 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 Mozoto Kia, Mozoto, Mozoto, Mozoto. Somebody is giving you 700,000. Maria, 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 Maria. Mara. Can you look up? <laughs> Can you look up? I love that one. I love that one. Go ahead. And then hello, see Prophet of God, Jesus. they are changing your seat. Ah. There is power in the name. No name, Jesus. There, there is power in your name. No name. There is miracle in your name.
Stretch your joints. You will agree with me that today was more impactful than yes. And have a truth tomorrow shall be more impactful than today. It's a seven days of reign of power. I profess her. In the name that is above every other name. The voice of the Lord tonight shall shake your wilderness in the name of Jesus. Amen. He got a bro. He cromonosi katolia. Every kadesh in your life. Fire. That is troubling your life. I command them to die by fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before you reach your house tonight, mm. you shall receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beginning from now, mm. darkness shall give way for you to shine. Amen. Every invisible pussy card, every invisible war gecko, fire, every invisible rat, fire, entering your house, fire, and giving you mark on your body mm. by the voice of the Lord. I command them to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire. Every mountain that stands as a Goliath in your compound. Fire. That says you will not go. Fire. Before 12 a.m. tonight, they shall be buried in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every strange fire in your life. Fire. I command them to quench completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mark of this favor that the enemy has placed upon your life by the authority of Christ Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I wipe them away in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hear me, child of God. God said he has released prosperity unto you. Amen. He has released spiritual prosperity. Amen. Marital prosperity. Amen. Academical prosperity. Amen. Financial prosperity. Amen. Business prosperity. Amen. Prosperity your place of Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every affliction in your life. Fire. And in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every voice that want to silence you. Fire. May the voice of God silence them tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that is dead in your life, I command them to receive life and resurrect in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that is lame in your life, I commanded to jump up and begin to walk. Amen. Walk, walk, Amen. walk, walk, Amen. walk, run, Amen. run, run, Amen. run, fly. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command peace upon every storm of your life. Amen. By the authority of heaven. Amen. Every satanic power. Amen. Raising his ugly head against you. Fire. Ali. Bruce Cicada. Mm. I command that to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Monosia. Makasanda. And close to hurt you. Fire. May they die tonight. Amen. Let your head now. Your hands. Your hands. Go Fire. above your head. This one is coming. Seven foot fire. Fire. Seven foot fire. Mm. Seven foot fire. Every power that has been bringing delay in your life. Fire. I command them to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the authority of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. I come delay. Amen. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire. The angels of the living God. I release them into the church. Amen. As many that are watching us. Amen. From all over the world. Amen. May the chains of the enemies. Amen. That are beat around your life. Amen. I command them to break loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will relocate you. Amen. From your current location. Amen. To a better place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By fire, by fire. Fire. Get your job. Mm. Get your husband. Yes, sir. Get your wife. Amen. Get your business. Amen. Get your shop. Amen. Get your finance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that has been holding down your helpers. Fire. Tonight. Mm. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I declare your helpers loose. Amen. Your helpers are released so happy from tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. People will call you. Amen. From tonight. Amen. For a new job. Amen. From tonight. Amen. For open heavens. Amen. From tonight. Amen. For breakthrough. Amen. From tonight. Amen. For businesses. Amen. For contracts. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ili Kapazo Dobahilia. I stand in the order mm. of Prophet Elijah mm. by reason of my prophetic office and by your apostolic grace, fire. And all he enters upon my life. I join my faith with the faith of my wife. And my father and the Lord, the one that ordained me, Pastor Enoch Ade Jare Adeboy. I prophesy upon the life of everyone here. Amen. As the sun rises tomorrow, mm. men and women mm. will go out of their way to begin to bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fall. Amen. As many that want to jack my well, mm. your visas are released. Amen. Your ticket money are released. Amen. Your BTS are released. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. It is already so. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answer prayers. Amen. For in Jesus' name it is done. Amen. 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 Fire. Fire. Can we celebrate Jesus? Of your offering. Lift it up unto God. And after I wish, who is taking the announcement will come up and our mother in Christ will run up. Lift it up unto God. Father, thank you for this offering. Accept us and our offering. Lord, Bless everyone that has given and as many that does not. At this program reign of hour, 
I'm inviting as many that are trusting God for open heavens in any areas of their life, for healing, for deliverance. No matter the duration of that problem that you have been in, reign of power through the power of the Holy Ghost will provide solution. I'm challenging you to come with every dead situation you are in, bringing any healing case, bringing any problem, bring it to God. At this seven days divine experience, you will experience the raw, magnificent power of the Most High God. He has done it before, He is doing it, and He will never stop doing it. I am challenging you, no matter that situation you are in, this is the last bus stop. Come and experience the reign of God's power. As you come, your life will become a testimony that will attract people to the kingdom of God. Please don't just come alone. I'm challenging you to come with somebody so that it will be on record that I invited somebody to a program and that program marks the beginning of the unending joy of that person. The program is kicking off on Monday 15th of this month all through till 21st day of May. Monday to Saturday is going to be 6 p.m. prompt and on Sunday the grand finale we are going to be wrapping it up at 8.25 a.m. Come and be blessed.